Wednesday, December 13th. Man, do the Republicans have a dilemma. Roy Moore lost, but nobody's sitting back and thinking that maybe he lost because he was a horrible candidate and a horrible person. Rather, the Republicans are fighting with one another. Kind of sounds like the Democrats did before. Oh, it's Mitch McConnell's fault. Oh, it's this person's fault. It's that person's fault. It's that person, that person. That's what I used to complain about with the Democrats. I said, Democrats, what are you doing? You're blaming everybody else. You can't just resist. You have to come up with ideas. In Alabama, they came up with a clean candidate, an honorable candidate, a guy who laid it out there, went against a person who was a liar and a bigot, beat him hard, Roy Moore. I mean, beat him hard. 20-some thousand votes in a red state. Major beatdown with President Trump backing him. Major beatdown. Took Steve Bannon down. Major beatdown. But the Republicans, instead of sitting back saying, man, we have a problem. We got to work together, put this thing together and find out where we stand and decide what their issues are. They're doing the same thing the Democrats are doing. They're blaming each other. I mean, it's great. You listen to Fox News. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's talk about the Hillary Clinton thing and the, uh, and the investigations. Who cares? You want to do it, feel free. But you supported Roy Moore all the way. You loved having Kellyanne Conway on there. You loved having all these people. But now Fox, who got really sad last night, it was almost sad watching them making every excuse in the world. They got to look at themselves just because they are the Republican ban and wing of the party. Most of them, except for people like Shep Smith and 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 uh, and, and uh, Mike Wallace and Brett Baer, those are three pretty good guys. But basically, what you got out there, the opinion people had to be sick, and all they did was make excuses, just like the rest of the Republican Party. It's everybody else's fault. It's never your fault. What they should have done was look at themselves, said, "We have a horrible candidate. We can easily lose. We really don't want this dude in there." We can work through this and then decide, well, if we win or lose here, it doesn't matter. We should just be moving forward with our position. But there is no position because President Trump jumped in and lost. Bannon jumped in and lost. McConnell jumped in and won. And now you got to wonder who's going forward and who's going to be the winner and who's really going to be the loser because now the Republicans are start training their sights on, on McConnell. Not on the Democrats, on McConnell. Isn't that great? And they're already convinced they're going to win back the seat in 2020. Who cares? Between now and then, there are going to be a whole lot of votes. And if we, as we've always said about President Trump, if it wasn't for the Second Amendment, he wouldn't be able to keep shooting himself in the foot. And man, he's doing a great job of it. The Republicans, you got a problem. You better start sitting back, looking at yourselves in the mirror and say, this is where we want to go. But if you want to keep having this internal uh, conflict going on, you're going nowhere. You may actually lose the Senate along with losing the House. Man, wouldn't that be interesting? What would Donald Trump do then with everybody focusing in on what he's doing and what he isn't doing? Instead of being so hubristic, having this hubris, thinking you're so smart, know what you're doing, the super right wing of the Republican Party better wake up because you guys are the losers. And you're going to lose big if you don't wake up and start really getting together and backing some good ideas and good candidates, unlike people like Roy Moore. But good news for the republic, good news for the country, good news for Alabama, good news for most people, good news for the people who came out and voted for Doug Jones right on. But the Republicans, you got a problem. You better wake up. And fighting among yourself is not going to give you the backing that you need. And... Subscribe, like us, share us, comment. Come on, come on. The Facebook people have been pretty quiet with me recently. They're going to be getting a couple of these on their on their walls pretty soon. Either way, the Republic will make it. It always does, and it's just a great news December 13th. Peace.